Hey loves. Okay, so her mystery school begins in one week for the next nine months. And I wanted to give you my top 10 reasons why I think you would love it. <laughs> and in that, I want to help you understand what it is so that you can actually know what the invitation is, whether or not it's for you and follow your heart to it. If this is the right time, the right place, the right person, the right uh, sacred kinship to be a part of as we're navigating these times, right? So, you know, first of all, the way that it works is that every week you're going to be adored, nourished, and brought to remembrance, right? So a lot of what we all work with is forgetting. We remember, we, we know, and we forget, and we slip into amnesia, especially with the pressure of the world, the way that it works again and again and again. So it's a weekly return to sanity. It's a weekly remembrance. It's, um, it's a deep holding. There's an architecture in the school. When you enter the school, you are entering into an architecture that's going to hold you for nine months through whatever transformation is either upwelling or about to visit you or visiting you now, right? Those weren't, that wasn't one of the reasons. The top 10 reasons that I wrote down the first is that we exalt womankind without denigrating anything else. This is a place where you will touch into, remember, be supported in, be reflected in the sovereignty, the wholeness, the exaltation of what it is to be woman without any of the shackles of being in opposition in order to have that. Right? So we are not in opposition to men. We are not in opposition to the patriarchy. We're not, we don't need to use anything in order to be what we are. And the depth of liberation that is in that posture, in that understanding, and in that claiming is absolutely unassailable. Right. So we are returning to an ease and effortlessness and the power that comes from that, the power that is, that doesn't need to define itself in opposition to anything else, and therefore then is freed, right? It's freed of the exhaustion of that. It is freed of the polarization of that and the fight, right? Second reason is we draw close to the one who holds all in natural law, the resolver of paradox, the one who does reconcile irreconcilables. So why this is significant right now is that our world is shattering itself in polarities, right? And when we come to deep feminine way in this way, in this school, we are resolving polarity. We are coming to a deeper place and we are sitting in the lap. We are resting in the embrace of she who does hold everything, who brings all into right relationship, right? So it is a profound shift in what we're in alliance with. And in the face of how much fracture is happening, polarization, how much angst and contention, the ripping apart that's happening. To me, this is one of the most important things that her mystery school will offer this next nine months is a place of mending and a place of coming into how you know, the things that you know that are deeper than what you're being shown so that you are, you are not only in the arms of the one who mends, the one who resolves and brings mercy, but you are also an expression of her. <laughs> Number three, you get to take a long, deep break from your personality, your stories, and everyone else's, your opinions, everyone else's. No stories. We drink from a deeper well. So to me, one of the most uh, important aspects of her mystery school and we hold it really strongly is that we're not here to share stories stories are honorable stories are part of what we are but we consistently when we go again and again and again underneath of the story right to a deeper well we're not 
we're not here to just be validated and consistently crystallized in who we think we've become. We go deeper than that. And the nourishment that comes from there feeds the deeper reservoirs of our being and reminds us of our soul, right? This is soul. This is beyond the mind, beyond our imaginings. Four, it will return you to a supple, resourced state. <laughs> it won't help you write with any kind of legibility, <laughs> apparently. It will return you to a supple, resourced state of deep feminine power. It will thaw you out, fill you up, and release you from bitterness. So the movement in this way is towards supple, resourced, embodied right so we are taking tonics every week for nine months we're taking tonics that address the tendencies towards bitterness that come with life the tendencies towards freezing that come with life these tendencies towards bleeding out and depleting and losing all that we need you know all of our fire right that, that is for nine months tonic for that remembrance and entrainment to become supple in the face of the big waves of life, supple in response to hardships, right? So that we have ourselves, so that no matter what life brings, whatever we're going through, we still have ourselves. We, we don't compress or we decompress if we've compressed and we, we learn to stay supple stay resourced as a state of being five you will be masterfully guided to elicit your own truths rather than to try on anyone else's yeah another one of my favorite things about the school so you there there's an offering here right we're going to look into deep feminine tradition we're going to look into archetype at times and practices and but every everything we approach we approach from a place of personal revelation. So you aren't being asked to adopt my way <laughs> or adopt anybody else's way or even adopt the school. You, what the school does, I mean, this is what a mystery school ideally would be, right? It elicits your wisdom. It will bring you into contact with your indwelling, knowing your direct connection and return you there again and again and again, right? So this is a process of direct revelation from inside of you. It will elicit from you and fortify in you, validate in you that. So you're not being shaped to be something else. You're not being asked to move into someone else's belief system which is what is pretty much the world is always asking right you're you're simply being kind of held and reflected into your deeper nature right so that you are at home and so that everything that you gather from the school will stay with you forever because it's yours right six it's beautiful it's honoring. It asks nothing of you. It will fortify you. It's true. It's extremely beautiful. There is a profound beauty in these transmissions, in this collection of treasury from deep feminine tradition. And it doesn't ask anything of you. Similar to the last point, it's not, you don't have to give more. This isn't work. I know it says it's a school. I know that's what we all think of as a school often, but this is this is about absorption and this is about being bathed in beauty, essentially, and being fortified, which means, no, it doesn't ask more of you. It's not one more thing to do. It's not asking you to X, Y, Z on any level. We're not here to work in that way or to learn in that way. This is entrainment, which means you are brought close to a stream and you entrain to it, right? In your way, in your timing, as it is nourishing to you. You'll be in some of the most sincere, reverent kinship with other women. 
gathering around a shared fire despite all sorts of nuance and difference in the external that is true you know this is the sixth year going into the school and the caliber of women that joins this school is is profound you know there there is a way in which yes we all do walk on our own and we have our strength but to have kinship with women other women of the spirit that is not based in story that is very much sourced in reverence for the, the this mystery, this ancient presence that we know, that we circle around, this shared flame. And in that profound reverence for each other's differences, we don't even really, it's not even, we don't look towards story. We don't look towards the external. We draw close and drink together from a deeper well. It is a profound and I think very rare kind of sisterhood because of the level of sincerity, the heart, the commitment, and the reverence that all of the, all the other women bring. You are in, you in such beautiful company, whether or not you talk to any of them, right? You feel them. We are one. We are woven. We do journey together. Let's see. It will companion you in the primacy, in the privacy of your privacy of your own soul, your own life, and unspoken knowing. So that's, you know, there are opportunities to connect with other women. But what, in a way, one of the most beautiful things about the school is that it will come right up close to you and be right beside you in your life. What is what you're facing? What your creating it's very there's 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 a way that the school will meet you in your hidden sacred and fortify you there right and bring you into full residency full kind of choice discernment full ness in your life, this path, this, this is only yours to walk, right? So there's, there's a companionship in your solitude that the school brings, that honors your solitude, honors your privacy, and companions you there, which is, you know, it's something to, for me that nature does for me. I, I am okay being alone if I can feel the trees and if I can feel the companionship of those things which will meet me in my hidden sacred and remind me of that, keep me anchored there. The school partakes of that, that way. It will anchor you in a self-knowing, a self-authority that will not waver. Now we do have an entire month called Oracle devoted to self-authority, but in general throughout the entire school, what we're working with is really establishing how you know what you know how you what your what your self authority like god given god is given birthright indwelling self authority feels like and refining pulling away all the static all the distraction and all of our habits of either looking away from that or not trusting it right there is you know this is 9 months of repairing and repairing any interruption in your own alliance with your knowing right all the things we accumulate from all the maybe mistakes we think we've made or the things that have happened in life we repair that so that you are walking in alliance with a deep knowing a guidance that will not leave you and that is unquestionable you don't need to prove it you don't need to talk about it you don't need to defend it it just is your authority it stands alone last one it's a journey long enough to carry you fully over the threshold that's in front of you now so you know I've, I've done a lot of online courses and different things and when I created her mystery school for nine months it was very much because I know that it takes time to move through the the deeper levels of 
the more foundational transformations that are in front of us, especially as women. So this nine month container holds you for that long and you'll go through all sorts of things through the nine months, right? And you'll, you'll be maybe closer or further from the school. You'll get busy. You'll be, you'll be more present. You, you know, certain months or weeks are going to really resonate. Others you won't be so close to. You're going to go through a journey throughout the entire nine months and it will hold you even beyond even what you think. I've watched it now for five years. Women just realizing, understanding that feeling, th this kind of miraculous holding that happens even when they're not that consciously aware of it. So when you, when you say yes, when you enter a sacred contract like this, or a, I don't know if a sacred contract, if you, when you enter a, a journey like this, you are held and you are, you are kind of, well, you're held by the journey, right? And so this is nine months. So whatever's in front of you, and you know what that is, what you're transforming through, what you're, what's in front of you to face, what's in front of you to create, what's in front of you to grieve, what's in front of you to, you know, all, whatever is in front of you, this is going to hold you while you move fully over that threshold, right? It's long enough to make sure that you get from here to there, right? Um, yeah, that's, those are, those are my 10 reasons. I'm, or 10, my 10, 10 aspects of the school, you know, 10 of the f kind of fundamental ways that it works, that it is. And also 10 of the ways that I feel like it is really an antidote to the poisons of these times and what is tearing us apart and particularly what is tearing women apart in our subtlety, in our, um, in our deep knowing right in our bodies when you move through the nine months you know one thing to know is that each month is a different terrain a completely different terrain of deep feminine sensibility and practice it is going to stretch you fully into much more than you imagined you were as a woman so we're not going to you know we have a we have the month of homecoming. We have the month of communion then when we move out of sovereignty and we're in relationship now, a relationship of all kinds. We're in the month of paradise where we're, jet, where we're really touching into pleasure and embodiment and sensuality and delight, the garden that it is to be woman. Then we're moving into a month where we really sit with sacred context and the reality of annihilation, right? The the initiations you never would have chosen for yourself, that you just have to walk, that, that aren't at all about pleasure. <laughs> they're about soul forging and they're, they're rigorous, right? We're gonna move into dark mother for a month. That is the dark, the unknown, your relationship with how you actually move in the unknown that exists, how you take nourishment from the dark. And you can maybe see, we stretch, we move from one aspect of her, of us, to the other. So that by the end, you're not left with what a lot of times happens, which is like, oh, here, this is what woman is. Or this is what, you know, woman is da-da-da-da-da. You know, woman is, you know, all about sexuality, maybe. Or all about sovereignty. Or all about, you know, it's, we, re we work, we open this vast terrain, many of which, you know, many of the aspects of which actually draw into almost like different corners of reality. You can go from paradise to annihilation, right? We go from dark mother, the depth, the dark, the unknown, to heavenly mother, the light, the mercy, the transcendent, right? And in that, what starts to happen in your being is you start to realize how much terrain is in here and how much you have inside to face whatever the world is going to bring, whatever life is going to bring. If it's going to be annihilation, you can meet that. If it's going to be delight, you can meet that. You can receive that. If it's going to be aloneness, you know how to stand in that. If it's going to be a relationship, right, a family, partner, all those things, you know how to move with that, right? So we are developing together these sensibilities that then by the end of the nine months, 
whatever then there, there's a there's a confidence there is a capacity that gets opened in our beings that kind of breaks through the limitations of what we thought empowerment was or what we thought our our power was what we thought we could be right so that's what I got for you I'd love to have you join me I I want you only if you want to be here <laughs> and but if you do and if you have questions please reach out to support at her mystery school.com so you can see I'm in the van I'm going to be um, journeying it differently this year I'm going to be very much anchoring us to the beauty of the earth and the deep listening to the heart of these times right that's a big part of my commitment and the mercy the the gift the support that the resource that is rushing in for us at these times she knows what we are up against and she knows what we're transforming through and she's with us if we turn to her and we open and especially if we do it together and we fortify each other so if you want to join me I'm here I'd love to have you let us know if you need anything if you have any questions we start September 6th that's next Monday bless and be